With all the buzz electric vehicles are making around the world, we thought we'd take a look at some fantastic electric aircraft. Would you fly in an all-electric aircraft? Let's check out some of the coolest electric aircraft on the market. Number 15. Aiming to build the first FAA-certified all-electric aircraft to serve the pilot training market, Denver-based Bi Aerospace flew its first all-electric test flight in 2018. Equipped with 90 kilowatt Siemens electric motors that deliver speeds up to 100 miles per hour, the E-Flyer 4 followed up with a successful low-power test flight early this year. Able to carry 450 pounds of passenger payload for up to three hours, these electric E-Flyers cost about $3 an hour in fuel to fly, compared to the typical $50 an hour. The company is aiming to have certification by the end of 2021. Number 14. This plane made by Unique, a company that started out making remote controlled aircraft, is one of the most famous electric planes to come to the market. They were able to completely design and build a full-sized light electric plane for easy mass production. It has now been established and proven to be one of the best ultralight single-seater electric planes today. Being electric and having a max speed of 80 miles per hour, it's a great starter for new pilots. Even with a quick stop after the battery has been drained, it only takes a little under three hours for a recharge. Number 13. This sleek aircraft is the brainchild of Israel-based company Eviation Aircraft. Named the Eviation Alice, the company sets to redefine regional transport through the means of their all-electric aircraft. It has a flight range of around 650 to 750 miles, thanks to its three 260 kilowatt motors, each producing about 350 horsepower. It has a cruise speed of 300 miles an hour with a flight ceiling of 30,000 feet. It has space up front for two pilots, as well as room for up to nine passengers. The aircraft is expected to get full certification in 2022, as well as be available for purchase the same year. Number 12. This older styled electric plane can really pack a punch, so don't let its design fool you. It's one of the first electric planes to ever cross the English Channel. Surprisingly enough, the pilot did not even have clearance to make the flight and was ordered to stop at takeoff. Obviously, he didn't listen and flew anyways. Even though it's one of the smallest electric planes, they were still able to fit two 25 horsepower electric motors in the aircraft that's no bigger than a small-sized car. We don't think you'll be making this flight again anytime soon, but sometimes you just can't follow the rules and you have to take that leap, not knowing the consequences. Number 11. When looking at this electric aircraft, we turn toward the country of Portugal. They developed this brilliant idea for an ultralight aircraft with more features than most sports cars. This awesome little ultralight is primarily made of epoxy resin and carbon fiber to minimize the weight. The motors are only used during takeoff to achieve enough thrust for lift off the ground. After this, they return back to their folded position so the aircraft can remain as aerodynamic as possible. This allows the aircraft to glide at the proper altitude for as long as the pilot wishes. Number 10. Everyone get ready for this one. It may look like they put it together backwards, but this is actually one of the fastest electric planes ever to be built. In 2012, it reached speeds of over 200 miles per hour, and it had been noted that the pilot was not even giving it full throttle. They use a customized 258 horsepower liquid-cooled DC brushless electric motor that can produce a staggering 400 foot-pounds of torque. Number 9. The aircraft giant Pipistrel is always making waves. Or air currents, maybe? Either way, they released their Alpha aircraft in an electric version called the Alpha Electro. It's powered by a 60-kilowatt motor that makes about 80 horsepower. 
It has enough battery to keep it airborne for about an hour, with a 20-minute reserve just in case. The batteries can be recharged in about 45 minutes, but if you have some spares already charged up, it only takes five minutes to swap them out. It has a cruise speed around 100 miles an hour, and due to its design, it's capable of short landings and short takeoffs. This little two-seater seems like the perfect training plane. Number 8. Aeroflight X, based near Munich, Germany, unveiled its V600 prototype at the Aero Friedrichshafen 2019 Aviation Trade Show. The all-electric aircraft has two sets of wings, six propellers for lift, a pusher propeller for forward flight, and a tricycle landing gear. The completed vehicle can carry three to five people and can make changes to meet EASA certification requirements. Number seven. Up next is this awesome looking two-person electric sailplane. The Taurus G2 is the first electric sailplane this aircraft manufacturer has ever made. It features a 40 kilowatt motor that pushes out about 54 horsepower and a lithium ion battery pack that lets it climb to nearly 6,500 feet in the sky. It also has a custom solar powered trailer that can easily charge the entire plane's battery in just five hours. Even if you run out of power in the air, the Taurus G2 can easily glide back down to a landing. The goal was to improve on their technological improvements by making a plane that can climb faster and has a shorter takeoff compared to any of their non-electric planes. Number six. This spacecraft looking thing is as real as you or me, but definitely feels like something from the future. This is the Airbus A3 Vahana, an all-electric aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and landing. If that's not cool enough for you, well, how about the fact that there's only room for one person and there are zero flight controls? Yeah, this thing is pilotless. It's made to be like an Uber for the air and is remote controlled from a different location. This future taxi has cruise speeds to rival even New York taxi drivers, able to fly at 120 miles an hour with a range of 31 miles. This one might be a little harder to flag down though. Number five. The Sunseeker family of gliders has roots in the solar game dating back over 30 years ago. So when it comes to solar-powered electric flying machines, they have some of the most experience out there. The Sunseeker Duo was a unique design made by one of the engineers at the company who thought it should be a two-seater instead of just one. It has a 72-foot wingspan with solar panels placed perfectly on the entire surface, as well as the tail. It also features a sliding canopy that provides the best in-flight views in any class swiveling tablet support for the next generation avionics, and maps running on an iPad or Android device. Number four. This one is kind of a crazy design, so bear with us. To get this baby off the ground, it uses you, the pilot, jogging off of a hill, almost as a leap of faith. Once airborne, you tuck your feet up and allow the tiny motor to help keep you at gliding altitude. When it's time to land, don't put your feet out. It's got wheels to assist with a gentle descent onto the undercarriage. Another impressive feature is the electric propulsion kit, which allows for a stronger and more sustained glide. This design is almost a hang glider and electric plane combined into one, making for an exciting and new idea for a micro lift glider. Number three. NASA themselves have come up with the design of our next plane. The X-57 Maxwell will be the first all-electric X-plane, with an X-plane being an experimental aircraft. 
The idea behind the aircraft is to demonstrate the benefits that distributed electric propulsion may have for the future of aviation. NASA has taken a twin-engine Technum P-2006T and replaced the wings with a new set of wings with electric propellers contained within. They went through four different designs before settling on the final version with seven propellers on each side. The smaller 12 engines that lay along the wing are turned off once the plane has achieved the planned cruising altitude. Testing is set to be finished sometime in 2020. Number two. This has earned a place on our list because of the sheer ingenuity that went into this plane. This is the first of two aircraft planned by the Switzerland-based group Solar Impulse. It has a wingspan of a major airliner. To be exact, it's 206 feet, but its honeycomb-shaped carbon fiber reinforced structure keeps the weight down to that of a small car. The top of the entire plane is covered in lightweight solar panels while the bulk of the weight comes from the batteries that they keep charged. The low weight and its sleek design mean it can get by on four 7.35 kilowatt motors. It flies at an average speed of 45 miles per hour and it achieved the world's first manned 26 hour solar powered flight. Number one. This pick had to make it in our number one spot. It's actually the most advanced electric glider that money can buy. It has an insane wingspan of 98 feet, allowing it to effortlessly glide any which way it wants. The impressive engineering that went behind this glider takes the cake for sure. It comes with a 42 kilowatt brushless electric motor that was made especially for the glider, and it pushes out around 30 horsepower. The design and manufacturing process of each component has been thoroughly assessed by German aviation authorities. In fact, it's the world's first electric aircraft ever to receive certification by the Aviation Authority. 